Hi, it's Taylor and thanks for tuning in. This is the video series on the Ideal Relationship System. And if you're not on my newsletter, you can click the link below to get on board. So let's start today. Our topic is about a quirky little saying that has often just not quite sat well with me. You know the saying, why buy the cow if you can get the milk for free? Yeah, well, I'm not the biggest fan of that saying. Now, maybe originally it had a, 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 an intention that was good, right? I think it was, it was probably created and used to deter women from being promiscuous or having premarital sex so that they would be encouraged not to give away the milk for free <laughs> and to wait until marriage. Now that value system is valid and I think it's important to inspire that in young women to hold off until being sexually active until they're, they're betrothed. Uh, and that's fine. What I have a problem with is this saying being used more globally in a broader sense. And the way that it's come up in the conversations I've had with clients and with my audience is really encouraging women to hold their love hostage, not just sex, but their actual sacrifice, their effort, their love, their affection, their service, uh, and basically hold it over the man's head like a carrot so that they can manipulate him toward all the milestones, being exclusive, moving in together, having a kid, getting a house, marriage, whatever, the whole shebang. Now, some people don't mean it to be manipulative, but it is. So this is what I want to clarify. I don't agree with this term, the saying, or the idea that you should love, hold love hostage. It's really important to, when you obviously you want to be vetting, and I talk about that often in my ideal relationship system. So you're vetting for the ideal partner. When you find that person, you need to make sure that you're giving freely of yourself. So the milk is free. You're not, you're not hoarding it. You're not holding it over their head with the carrots. You're not uh, torturing them and manipulating them to get your way. This is especially true for women, right? Like this is something that is applicable to females for the most part. So uh, yeah, it's, it's, if you love someone, you don't measure it. It's not something that you're going to dose out in partial, you know, amounts so that you can get the right reciprocation. Now, I do encourage people to hold back a little bit, right? Because I call it escalation. So you want to make sure that you're, you're giving genuinely because you care about the person you're, and you desire the person, but you also want to be very observant to make sure that you're, you're getting that back, that, that the partner that you have is genuinely interested, genuinely desiring of you just the same. So once you have that nice equilibrium with each other, it's not tit for tat, but it's flux and flow. It's going back and, back and forth, ebbing and flowing in a very natural, organic way. And you are slowly escalating on the emotions, on the sexuality, and through the relationship milestones without it being really overly calculated. And so as you're going, you're going to be giving more and more of yourself, but if you feel like you get stuck and it doesn't progress, then that's when there may be a problem, but that might be something different. And if you feel like you're with someone that's going to take advantage of you, of your love, whether that's, if you're okay with premarital sex, if that's sex, if that's, you know, all the domestic duties, if it's being his biggest cheerleader or vice versa, you know, you want to be able to be a partner through and through, right? It's like you don't want to hold back. Basically, if he's the right person, let's talk about it from a female perspective, it's going to encourage him to commit to you more, to invest in you more, because you're basically, you're earning it. You're proving yourself. And he would be a fool to throw that away if he genuinely cares about you and desires you. If he's the right partner, that's exactly what's going to happen. Now, if he's the wrong partner and he starts to take advantage of you and use you, then you need to be aware of that uh, and you need to, to pull back and you need to maybe consider walking away if it's not resolvable, if it's genuinely just not a good fit. So that's the more applicable, constructive, and effective way to look at it versus advising people to hold their love hostage. 
I hope that was helpful for you today. And if you have any questions or comments, please put them below. Don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends. I'll talk to you later. Ciao.